Hi everyone. So in this video, I would like to talk about the NumPy, the numerical Python, most important, one of the most important library available in the Python to do the numerical computation. So how do we import the num, uh, NumPy? So the standard format is import NumPy and you can use the alias NP, though you can use the, the other name, but NP is the general what most of the programmer they use it and uh, why we need numpy right uh, we already have a list which can you can create a, a matrix of a list also but the most important advantage of using numpy if you are doing numerical computation is how it is very fast means the element which are stored in the numpy is stored in the continuous memory location that's why it's retrieval the operation on the numpy is very fast as compared to the list in the uh, list right and uh, to show that so let's let's see let's do one quick test so what i'm doing i'm using the np arrange to get the 100000 records and uh, creating a list to create my list uh, for again the same amount of elements and let's for the time it out so if i just run this and uh, run this again so in the case of array it took around 1.2 and uh, it's it took 30 right it's you can see the difference is almost the 30 right and the loops which are happening is 10000 and here the loop in the list happening is the 100,000. So you can see the time taken by nanoseconds is way huge compared to almost like 100 times or more than that in this case. That's why we use NumPy for all the arithmetic computation to do the fast operation on the matrix. So NumPy also has a very specific uh, type which is called ND array. Uh, which is nothing but a multinational, uh, multi no, not multi-dimensional array, right? So it's an object, and how you do that? So you you start with np dot array, and you put your list type uh, data in it, right? And that's how the it will represent in this format. So it's an array. It has two rows and three columns. So it's called two into three array. You can do the operation on the within the array. So let's say I want to multiply by 10. So it will multiply whatever the element is there. Each again, each element is very fast. So I do on the element wise multiply in one go. You can do a summation of uh, array to array, right? You can do that. And uh, if you want to see the shape, so as I told, it's a two rows, three columns. So that's why the shape is two, two comma three. And what is the data type? As you can see, the format is in float. So the data type here is float64. How you can create a array on the list? So you, let's say you have a list called data1. And what you can do, you can use your np, means n dot array, and put your list inside it. And that's will it will create a array. So what's, okay, it is not defined. Let me run this. Let's run this. Now it's done. So that's how you create from uh, create an array from the list. There are specific type of uh, matrix, like if you want to create all the zeros, all the ones, so you can use np dot zeros, zeros with 10 element, right? It will give you a zero with one element, so it will give you all the ones in the array. And uh, if you want to have a array in a specific metric type or shape of into three into six mean three rows and uh, six column you can run this and our it will create there is a special type of uh, np dot empty it is nothing but uh, it will give you all zeros or it will give you the garbage values so let's run this so in this case all these values are the garbage values and uh, we use np dot empty types only when we want to update the values and want to create a structure first. Next is the so a range is nothing but equivalent to a range. So in the list we have we use a range, right, uh, to get the 
equispace uh, numerical uh, elements and in this case uh, in the numpy we have a, a ar range right and that's has given 0 to 14 that 50 elements uh, in this so here what i'm doing i'm, I'm just getting those np to range tell elements converting into the array though i need don't require it and uh, data type i'm putting as the float in this i'm data type putting as the uh, numeric so as you can see there is no decimal values after the element let's move to the next part the arithmetic and then uh, with the numpy array so you can do you can add uh, do arithmetic let's create the array you can multiply this array with the same it has the same shape right you can minus you can do the minus so it will minus within that itself so again the value should be zero because we are minus one minus one equals to zero you can divide by one by the value right you can do a square and you can also do the comparison with the same size array so let's create our one more array array 2 and give the if the value in the so what it will do it will do element wise means uh, so if i just pull the ar so what it will do it will compare one with zero so one is greater than zero then it will return true right uh, if i run this it will return true two is greater than four no that's why it turned false next is the indexing and slicing very important so how do you extract the subset of the element within the array so let's create an array of element 0 to 9 right and uh, in this case let me get the fifth element so fifth element is going to give 5 2 to 5 means 2 to 5 5 not included so it should be 2 to 3 right and let me just update the value of 5 to 8 to 100 okay means 5 to 8 to 100 8 not included 5 6 7 should change to 100 right let me run this it has changed and uh, you can see this if i do one to one it one one what is interesting here is even if i create a copy of this particular and update that value it's going to update in the original array only but in the case of list it does not happen so let's create a list with name l right one to ten element and extract two to three right it gave two to three now let's update directly try to update directly uh, here it says thrown an error you can as only assign an iterable not the numeric value as a as a whole so let's create a copy of this into l2 and now l2 i want to update a second 0 1 2 means this 200 can i do that yes if i can but if i just run the l part the which we have created here you see it's remained intact no change in the element now let's go to the array part so let's see the array value here and let me run it again so we have the same value and let me run this zero to one yep sorry zero to 109 now let me create a sub array from this five to eight means this t it will be five six seven and let me update this five six seven value means seventh value to thousand it has updated but if you again check the we have updated only the sub array we have created a a copy also right uh, let's see so it has updated the seventh value to 100 directly because even if you create a sub uh, slicing uh, of the existing array the actual value it is referring to the actual value if you want to if you don't want to update the actual value you have to create a copy of it using the dot copy function let's create the two dimensional array so in this case np dot array four five six right if i run two zero one two so it, it has done the row wise slicing so that's why the seven eight nine is got extracted so zero to two means zero this row and this column three right that's why it has given three even if you put a zero comma two means give me the from the first zeroth uh, row 
the second uh, means uh, the second from the second column right the same uh, let's create a 3d array uh, so 3d array is a 2 by 2 3 right so it has two separate list or array within the array its dimension is 2 multiplied by 2 by 3 and if i put a 0 so it means 0 is this one 1 is this one right if i put change it to 1 it will give you 789 this and let's create a copy of us of 0 means this into and put into all values right and now update the 0 to 100 so every value from here uh, from here it's got updated to 100 and you can change the same with by equating with the old values so old values was i think was 1 to 6 right if i do that it's got change to whatever the value was there available in the first case next is uh, one zero means the from the one this one right and uh, zero means this one so it's a one step uh, lower level dimension indexing so what will happen if i run this uh, so what is its meaning is here select the first two rows because i have not given i have not given anything on the col columns so column is by default all the columns values are coming now what will happen in this case uh, what i'm asking is give me the first two rows right first two rows and start column after one so means this and this two three five six and in the case uh, if you write without the columns it will take that exactly the row means this one and after two means this value similarly uh, this is the same example so let's move to the boolean indexing again the very important part instead of uh, uh, returning the element it just return the true and false so let's create a two uh, data object names and data names is this data is this and let's evaluate so name equals to bob so where it is bob it will return true or false right based on that so first is true means it value is bob the fourth value is also bob now if, uh, learn if you run this name equals to bob in data what it means it's passing this particular array here and if value is true so in this case this is true and this is true that's why we are getting 4 comma 7 0 comma 0 what this symbols mean it negate means uh, give me everything where bob name is not uh, name is not equal to bob so that's why apart from 0 7 and 0 0 every other values are fetching uh, it's fetched here right it can also do the comparison where data is less than zero so return me those values right minus 5 minus 12 minus 4 are returned here and if you want to change those values only those values with the condition so if data is less than zero make it zero right earlier it was minus 5 12 4 convert it to zero fancy indexing is also one of type of indexing which is available so let's create a zero 8 by 4 matrix right it's eight rows four columns and what we have what is i'm doing here i'm looping here the element one by one and converting into whatever the number so zero to eight so it's first zero one two three seven to seven so the range start from it fit is eight so it's all zero to seven and if I do the slicing here, so fourth means the fourth row, third row, zero row, six row, that's what is retrieving here. And if I do minus sign, it starts with the bottom. Transposing and uh, swapping axis, so in the linear algebra, so this is widely used. So let's create a new array of 15th elements with the shape of uh, 3.5 in three rows, five columns. And if we do dot t means it transform whatever rows is converted into columns means uh, it have it will have three columns and five rows right you can do the dot multiply with the existing value so np dot dot is the function you pass the transformation plus uh, the actual array 
these uh, another way is doing the at the rate uh, instead of np dot this it's the same result so let's move to the next part is the pseudo number generation uh, it uses the baseline python random module where it generates the random number it's actually not random there is a, a functionality which is being used at the back end is to generate the random variables uh, it's not actually the random so it has a mechanism in the back end which gives you the random value so if you give the random value we can control that uh, in short so let's use that np dot random standard normals made from the standard normal size by 4 by 5 give me the uh, sample right and uh, also if uh, if you do the if you use the random and import the normal variate for n thousand you see the time taken by these two the baseline random takes more time compared to the numpy is random so it took uh, 78 millisecond it took 20 millisecond only you see the difference is huge what you can do you can create your own variables rng is not nothing a random generator right so the seed so what happens with the seed seed uh, if you use the same thing you will generate the same values with the seed right and uh, same thing we are asking to create the matrix of 2 by 3 array of 2 by 3 from the standard normal uh, values there are universal function means the fast element wise array function what we'll do with this you uh, you use those function and it will do the element wise operation one by one so if uh, if on the AIR so if I if I see what are the values AIR array is this and why I want to the square root of each value here so as you can see the scale it always has done the operation of square root on each the values and next one is the exponential on each element let's create a two x and y variables right with 88 eight values now if you want to find out is the maximum between these two so this one or this one which is maximum 0 0.4 is the maximum right and this which is maximum so 0 0.9 is the maximum one so that's what the np dot maximum function does it identify compare the element uh, by uh, from x and y in this case two arrays and give you the maximum values you can multiply whole x with 100 and np mod f uh, nothing but it will separate the decimal part and the remainder part in the two so if i do on the x so x we know this is there right so it will separate minus one and this decimal so see the remainders and see the whole part so that's what we have uh, in this uh, section we will continue we'll have one more section of the numpy and uh, then we'll move to the next um, part of the this series thank you